Hello, I'm Dromica, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. This is episode 3. Uh, last time we left off, right here, and we were going to build a little space probe to go up to the orbit of the moon. Uh, I think this little probe is good. And we're just going to get the Delta V to get to the moon. I meant in between episodes to check. No. I didn't, because we did it last time. I was going to see how much Delta V it takes, how much we needed or wanted to get to the moon orbit. And it was about 4,000-ish. A little bit over 4,000. So I think we're just going to go around about 5,000. Just to make sure... Um, yeah, this has an engine and a little bit. We have 2,800 delta V. That'll be plenty to get us in the correct orbit. Um, let's try and move this. If I can... There we go. Let's see. I'm going to want... I guess just enough delta V to get us into a circular orbit. Okay. Why did that not move the whole thing? Uh, so from here, we'll want about 3,500 or so. So that's 3,300. Do. Yes. Let's do what we did last episode when getting into orbit. And we'll get two huge boosters. This. I right clicked to try and move it like that, but it still went up. Not the intended um, functionality, I guess. And that should be fine. That's going to be overkill. How much? 2.2? I guess that's not terrible. Um, move that down there. Remove that. Light all those. Payload. Let's just go for it. It's 7,600. That's going to be plenty. That'll give us a little bit extra to get into a lower moon orbit if needed. What is this? Oh, that's the fairing. Is it? Must be. I don't know. Let's let's launch it. See what happens. Um, we'll throttle down. Hit spacebar, skip countdown, and we'll just go straight up. We're going to save our swivel fuel. Um, I'll go ahead and pitch over not that it's really going to do much. 60 units of zero science, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, we're going to throttle up a little bit because we started to tip. Just trying to get enough fuel. Now let's just go to the not really cooperating. As long as we stay okay. Yeah, we're already, our apoapsis is already at 80, 90, 100. Just from the solid rockets. 200. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and stage. go. We'll let that, well, we'll face that directly up if we can. And just for fun, we'll create another maneuver like we did last time. This is way too high. But, that's okay. So it'll be one minute burn in four minutes. That's not bad. Can we move this at all to get a better, I guess right there, 241 by 68. 
Sure. That'll work. And we'll go back to this view. We are at 105, so we can get rid of the fairing. That came off good. I have had an issue with the fairing getting stuck, but that time it came off just fine. We will go ahead and point at our maneuver. And we'll also speed up. Uh, let's get some of that science. Nothing new. That's one thing I don't think I want to see is old science appearing that we can regather because it gives us zero science. And I'm going to guess that this is another, yeah, same thing. Completed reports. Hmm, I don't know. But since it's a probe, anytime we see any new experiments pop up, we'll go ahead and send that back to Kerbin because this guy will never be recovered since it is a probe. So we'll wait until about 30 seconds when it says start our burn. And I guess it doesn't really matter if I start a little bit early. So we'll go ahead and go here and fire and we'll just let this circular rise we'll get to about 70 and hope that we're lined up with the moon correctly um, so that way we can do our burn on the periapsis side but chances are it's going to be on the wrong side that's just kind of how it goes for me so that will go yeah, we got plenty of Delta V. Should be plenty to get to the moon. And then we'll go ahead and do this again. Just kind of try to keep it around here. Bring that apoapsis down a tiny bit. Not that it really matters, but then we'll just wait till the periapsis is around 70. There we go. So we are in orbit. This is collecting a little bit of electric charge. Yes, it is. That's good. That's what we want. We'll get rid of that. And we are going to set our target to the moon. And if I remember correctly, yeah, right around the periapsis, we want to do our burn somewhere around here. Nice thing about these is we can adjust it as we go. So we'll get kind of close. There we go. That is good enough. And if we adjust this, do it right around there. Remove all the delta V. So we don't have to do as much. It's only 761. And what did we want for the tracker? 2,400. I think that is, what is that? 9,000 kilometers? 96, I don't know. We'll get it lower for sure. It's getting a little lower. We'll just, we'll fine tune it as we get there. Um, let's go ahead and fast forward to the burn. It's only an 18 second burn, so be fine. Uh, we are, yes, fully in orbit. It scared me a little bit. And then going to point prograde. And we could probably just go ahead and start the burn right now. It's gonna take a while to get there, so I'm just gonna turn on the engine and have the engine gimbal point us in the correct direction. And then we will go full blast. Turn on the engines. So we're gonna move the periapsis down here. And our apoapsis is gonna go way out to the moon so we can have an encounter. And once we get there, we can circularize. Aloha. 
Alright, so that's an encounter. I like that one better than the one we had. Go ahead and get rid of that. Is that what I want? 1.6 kilometers. Oh, so that's perfect. All we have to do is get our other side to 60 kilometers. That'll be easy. And I guess we're just gonna go for it. That is getting charge. So we are going to follow this path out to here. And we'll time warp again. We should get some new science as soon as we pass over into the sphere, the moon's sphere of influence. Ooh, that's way too close. All right, so we'll go ahead and get that, and we are going to transmit. That's gonna be 60 units of electric charge. Nothing else, so we'll go ahead and let that do its thing. And then from here, create a maneuver node. There's our 50 science. And we're gonna go retrograde to 60 kilometers. Wait. Well, we'll just... What does 60 kilometers look like? So that'll be a thousand. I guess it's just, yeah, what am I talking about? Right about there. Sometimes math is hard. All right, so we will point retrograde. Our burn will be in an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, five second burn, delta V of 250. We have 200 left in this stage, so we can burn that to completion and then stage, and we'll have a full tank up here to finish off the burn, just to get a little bit lower. So if we fast forward, yeah, that's gonna stop. I guess, am I lazy? Let's do it efficiently. We'll let it turn all the way around. We'll point at the maneuver. And then once it's turned, it's gonna take forever because the reaction wheels on this thing are very weak. Um, but once that does turn around, we can go ahead and fast forward and then do our burn and we'll save, I don't know, like 20 Delta V maybe? Not, not much, but I may want that later. I think there is another like mission we can do around the moon to get a different orbit. I mean, we could probably even send this thing to Minmus from the moon um, if we have as much Delta V as possible because we have 3,000 left. So that's, that's quite a bit. We could probably even exit the sphere of influence of Kerbin. And I think that is another little mission later on. What's that noise? Ah, it's like RCS thrusters firing, but I don't have any RCS thrusters. At least that's what it sounds like to me. So we are trying to point right there. We're almost there. We came from all the way over there, so... We are in good shape. Blah, blah, blah. Very slow. All right, let's just fast forward. Because it's close enough, we can move it if needed. There we go. We got 40 seconds until burn. So go ahead and move over there. So our periapsis is 1,651 kilometers, and periapsis 
greater than 60. Apoapsis is less than 2,400. So if I just do a circle right now, I was thinking it was under 60, uh, but that's even easier. We can get that with this stage. So from here, we'll just go ahead and burn. What was it? Um, oh yeah, that was right. I was like, what's going on? So we'll just go ahead and go down, 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 down. What was it? 2400. So right about there. Is that right? Apoapsis less than 2400. We're there. Perhaps it's greater than 60 kilometers. We're there. Is that not right? Orbit around the moon. Why are you... It's because we don't have an orbit. There we go. Um, return. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. So yeah, we were still going to shoot off into space. That's why. And no new research. So let's go back to mission control. We will go ahead and get this one, submit it, and see what new ones we get. One small step, land on the surface of the moon. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that with this. That's okay. Plant a fat flag within any mare on the moon. Okay, I guess that's just the moon's surface. One of the moon's smooth, dark lowlands. Okay. Uh, perfect circle. Establish an orbit around Kerbin with an apoapsis and periapsis, each between 99 and 101. So that's pretty low. So we're not going to do that with this one. And we are going to leave this guy in the orbit of the moon. Um. So let's go to the research center. So we don't need any of that, or that, or that. Let's go to area two, medium orbital rockets. Yeah, because I, I do want fuel lines for landing on the moon. Just makes it so much easier, but we don't have enough. So what we can do is put a satellite into orbit. Not revert. Um, mission control. What was it again? So, anything in orbit. And plant a flag. So, that'll give us a hundred. I mean... I guess? Can we do this all in one? Is this gonna help? Nope, that won't help. Docking, maybe, but we can do it without. Yeah, there's nothing in area one that I need. Area two, just bigger rockets. All right, well, let's go to the VAB. I guess we're gonna have to get to the moon without fuel tanks. Do I want a lander? Do I wanna do Apollo style? I don't think I do. I think we could do it without. So let's do this. How much is it? home from the moon it is 580 plus 280 let's say 2000 just to be safe um, we're gonna want a heat shield and a parachute and a decoupler, and 
then from here we'll get 2,000. this vacuum 1300 that doesn't include landing but that's fine what is that 2000 all right so this will be our moon lander and return er rer Let's get some small landing legs at the bottom. The only thing... is we need a way to land. Let's go ahead and move this up, like right there. And then we'll get a ladder going down so we can easily get in and out. And... This is going to be another one of those episodes where I leave you guys hanging, I think. Not on purpose. It's just kind of the timing of it. Because I don't always know what I'm doing. Is that good? That's good. Alright. So yeah, 2,000. We will retract those. And we'll go ahead and save it here. I started that one. Um, what was the workspace? YouTube. I don't. I don't know the difference between vehicle name and a workspace file name. I guess. I don't know. Moon Lander. Moon Lander. We'll save that. Uh, we'll save the game, and that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, push that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you all for joining me, and I hope to see you all on the moon in the next episode.